Hey, audio everyone. Lost Sitter here for back in action for more um, transgender stuff and whatnot. And um, things are going smoothly for the most part. Don't really feel too much of a big change, nor do I feel too much of a little not change. So we're we're going at a steady pace, and that's that's the good thing. Uh, that's the good thing to be involved in and whatnot. So with nothing to pour on the western bow and my gra my glasses. So with nothing to report on the Western Front, and uh, my glass is still kind of not here yet, um, let's discuss something that I don't think I've really talked about at length, but I definitely touched upon when I talked about why being transgendered and whatnot is like this interesting little cosmic feel and whatnot, and just kind of like, I chose it more than it, it I just got put upon it and whatnot. Now, by all means, I don't really mind the fact that my path has gotten to be this way, where I have all these friends that I have, they love and they care about me, and I've made the friends that I did make. And I honestly could not say one way or the other, if I was born female, I would have these friends, or even if I would have the same experiences to any degree. I honestly don't know, and I'm not sure how life would have been then, but... Every now and again, I read tweets and whatnot, and I see these little things of just, like, hey, you know, like, there is a tragedy to not, to being a trans girl, just outright for every single person, and that's just, we don't get to experience the, the, the culture of little girls and whatnot, and it's true, and it's just like, oh, yeah, I didn't get that. Huh. Now, I definitely would say that I'm not the most feminine person out there when it comes to, like, liking girly things and whatnot. But, to say the least, I, I did have some mild curiosity over certain things and whatnot. And, at the very least, I was put down to liking said things. And I either had to either like it in secret or just sort of not be interested in it. Now, over time, I didn't really care as much. But, when you're younger, you're far more impressionable and you're far more likely to not do certain things and whatnot. So liking all these things and kind of being in touch with my emotions were definitely not a huge upbringing in my life. They just weren't. That's not something that happens when you are raised male. It's just the, the case in point. Uh, in, in, in a masculine culture, things do not get to talk about touchy-feely stuff or anything of the like like that. And admittedly, a lot of the cool stuff is like on the boy side or just like Ninja Turtles and... And Transformers and all this and that. And, like, by no means can any one person not like one and then the other. But you're strongly discouraged to like things like My Little Pony and uh, Sailor Moon. And basically anything that's, like, remotely girly in that sense. And by all means, the culture has developed to a point where people just don't care, honestly. And I love that, honestly. I really do. I think it's a very important thing here. But when you're growing, like, older and you just, that's all you could think about. But there's another part to it that you miss entirely, and that's hanging out with other girls and doing other things like like making your nails and, and tying your hair, making your hair different and whatnot. You miss these things. You miss these milestones. Uh, being a trans girl, like, you don't... You only have a set amount of time to do it, and the earlier you do it, cool. You're able to do it, and by all means, I would definitely love to see more and more trans girls developing at a younger age because it's so hard in a lot of ways for anybody to just sort of like not to tra transition in the midst of puberty and whatnot instead of starting it early in puberty or starting it after the fact these are all things that like kind of suck and just it is not a good thing um i know it's not a super popular opinion to a lot of uh, cis folk out there where they're just like, hey, you know, like, how does the child know and everything, but, like, kind of up to the child, not you, more so than anything else, but, you know, we'll, we can discuss that later, honestly. My point being is that I'm in favor of it, and I feel like it helps bring a lot of the kids uh, more of enjoyment to their childhood than anything else. And I do have to say, I do feel like I got on a way more childhood than I should, in comparison to most people in the world, I definitely don't doubt that one bit. But there is a part of my childhood that I won't ever get. And that's just a simple case in point. I'm not super sad about it, but when I think about it, 
like it does suck that I don't get to have that experience. I don't get to have all these like sleepovers or, or things like that. Like, or it's hard to say because I honestly don't know what I'm really missing. I, I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't. It just, I know it's there. I know it's missing. And I've, I've experienced like this boy culture thing of just like, people hitting each other or like throwing rocks or some stupid crap I honestly I can't remember too much about a lot of boy culture honestly and I was never interested to begin with I didn't really hang out with a lot of kids that rough house or anything I wasn't a big rough and tumble person I I never was because I hated being assumed in that role for one and for another just it never interested me to, to do that physical activity. I liked talking. I liked going around and making discussions and just kind of like enjoying myself on swings and whatnot. That's that's what I did during recess. That's, that's pretty much the whole entire thing. So to say the least, I didn't experience exactly a masculine childhood. I, I did experience something in between the two, between masculine and feminine childhood. But for the most part, it just... I didn't experience either one, and I didn't really feel the need to go into this sort of, like, sports thingy or whatever, or just, like, rough housing in any degree. I mean, I liked handball, but that's, like, a totally different thing, I feel, in comparison to a lot of other things and whatnot. Suffice to say, probably the hardest kind of loss that you could ever feel, in all honesty, is something that you never really experienced. And I certainly agree to that point that I just, I don't get to have it, and I don't know what I'm losing. I think a lot of people out there probably do know what they could be missing or what they could be like losing and whatnot, but I just, I just don't. This is not supposed to be like some sort of big downer thing here, but just every now and again, I I don't really think about my transgenderness and I don't think about the losses that I've incurred or like these these jeopardies that I'm facing because I don't face them on a daily basis. Like probably most of the trans people, I would say. At the very least, um, if they do face prejudice, it's either swift and, and painful or it's uh, long-going and, and small. Not a whole bunch, but I am blessed. I will admit that. I am entirely blessed with the support group that I have, with the people that I have, and with the people that just raised me, essentially. They, they didn't force a lot of big masculine things on me. Like, the furthest I think I got was I just couldn't, wasn't allowed to cry, but... I would blame that mostly on my mom's uh, mental issues than anything else. Uh, not to really throw her under the bus, but let's just say that she didn't really have the most positive upbringing in life. And just, she did the best that she could. And I do, I love her to death, honestly. I do. Don't tell her I said that, though. She gets a big head. But yeah, that's that's all I really wanted to talk about, about that, that small little loss there. Um... Didn't really have much else to say, in all honesty. I feel like I should be saying more, but at the same time, I don't really have much else to say. Just what could have been, you know? What could have been? Well, at the very least, I do have some things looking forward to things. And um, I will say this for a small little update, I guess, is um, I'm going to be looking for shoes and whatnot. And these shoes, um, they should be able to fit me and everything. I should just... Be able to go onto this little online store and do that, which is a miracle because my feet are big and that sucks because feet do not really work very well in terms of sue sizes and whatnot. Just ugh. just just good luck finding women's of uh, shoe size in like anything larger than than a ten. I, I gotta say, ten men's size. Ugh. Um, it gets really hard after that. <laughs> so. I'm very glad to have that. I'm very glad to actually go do it, but I don't know how well it'll go planned out and everything. One of the biggest reasons why I'm not really into a lot of fashion things and whatnot is because one, I don't get the options that I want to get or have or anything. And for two, just it's really expensive, especially if you're someone like me that needs special customized things and whatnot. And you're just like, well, then um, might as well just not buy anything. That is largely how I go about a lot of my clothes shopping. It's just, I can't afford it. I'm just going to look like this bum person. I, I don't care. <laughs> it's just how it's, how it's gone, how it's been. And trust me, as soon as I get, like, actual money, money, like, I will be wearing as much clothes as I can just to, like, make it really nice and stylish. But I only got so much. It's just, like, 
I gotta spend it on video games. I gotta spend it on, on card games. I gotta spend it on all these things that I love and enjoy and just bring me out of this dull world. Ah, that's it. That, that's all, all it comes down to. I certainly don't think that, you know, clothes make the person, but my goodness gracious, do I want to look pretty in them? I do, but just where am I going to get the money? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know where I'll get the money, but it is nice to know that I can at least buy these shoes that I'm going to buy soon um, without my money. It's not my money being spent on there, so I could just look for shoes that I like. Cool. Well, till next time, everybody. Sayonara. Bye-bye.